ele tinha tendências gay. Omar Matan's first wife's submission through his current fiancée on a Brazilian TV news program is a bombshell, though hardly surprising. There are several other people said that Omar is gay already at the time. I believe in my heart that he was a gay man, living in a life that he just could not be his authentic self. He used self. to come in the bar about, uh, on the weekend sometimes he would be there. Uh, sometimes he would miss a couple weeks and then could be in again. I recognized him from one of the apps, but I instantly blocked him because, like, he was, like, very creepy in his messages, and I, I blocked him immediately. Why a gay person want to kill his gay friend so bad? It doesn't surprise me that he might be gay, and it doesn't surprise me that he was leading two totally different lives and was in such deep conflict within himself. Last weekend's massacre in the Orlando Gate nightclub is really an eye-opener. That guy admitted that he is inspired by Dash. Although he is surely not a member of Dash, this submission shows that the effect of his belief is very strong. I have no interest on his link with Dash. That may have shown a more disturbing phenomenon. Years ago, the leaders of Canada's Liberal Party has said this. And then at the same time, now, over the coming days, we have to look at the root causes. Now, we don't know now whether it was uh, you know, terrorism or a single crazy or, or uh, you know, a domestic issue or a foreign issue. I mean, all those questions. But there is no question um, that this happened uh, because there is someone who feels um, completely excluded, completely um, at war with uh, innocents at war with a society. His opinion was being attacked by the Prime Minister at the time. You do not sit around trying to rationalize it or make excuses for it or figure out its root causes. Today, as he has become Prime Minister himself, I guess we should think twice about his opinion. Reading news for years, I found that most fascinated by Dash ideologies are the so-called losers in the society. He just didn't have that spark. He wasn't that friendly, outgoing guy anymore. He just seemed lost. They have either having record of petty crimes. You tell me, me, I'm praying the Quran to make me stay away from the drug, but then the temptation to the drug is stronger. Being discriminated by the society. Trouble at work and home seems a common theme. All three blamed their inability to hold down jobs on employers and co-workers who didn't understand they needed to pray five times a day, who didn't understand that they needed time off on Friday. Or having mental illness. Like in this case, the guy is obviously struggling between the religion he believes, which teaches him being gay is an unforgivable sin, and his own natural desire, which long for love and touches of fellow gay men. I suspect then, by getting into radical Islamic ideology, he believes by martyring himself, his sexual desire would be eliminated, and he will be strict to heaven with Allah. Therefore, extremism is not a problem of some religions, it's a syndrome of an ill society. United States undoubtedly has more than one syndrome. Donald Trump, who proud himself as political incorrect, is one of them. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. American extensive gun culture. In the world we live in today, a pistol may not be enough to meet the engagement that you're gonna encounter. And in the West, you've got a lot at your disposal. America is absolutely awash with easily obtainable firearms. You can go down to a gun show at the local convention center and come away with a fully automatic assault rifle without a background check and most likely without having to show an identification card. So what are you waiting for? And high volume of gun violence cases. 372 cases in 2015, killing 475 and wounding 1,870 is another. When Japan become a modern society, one of the first policies implemented is to prohibit samurais to bring the sword out in open. That results into a huge revolt, lots of people killed because of this. But Japan has become a civil society since then. America is far from civilized. When there is conflict, people don't solve it with their legal system, but with their guns.
Why do you think we have so many gun murders in America? Because everybody's first reaction is pull the gun. That is, as a result, a modern medieval society. Back to Omar, the Orlando Gay Cup gunman. We can't deny that he is the one who pulled the trigger, but his belief, or should I say, his father who gives him such homophobic teachings. Jazo, uh, Basilo, Kori, Kimi, is the murderer as well. Homosexuality is not that tolerated. And especially when somebody is a political figure as prominent as father was, it is especially really looked down upon and disgraced. This leads us to current argument of Ontario sex education. There are quite a lot of conservative parents protesting to get rid of this so-called explicit curriculum. There are no six genders. I don't want my kids knowing there are six genders. I object that the children be taught masturbation. It's radical. It's not based on science. It's based on nonsense. And we don't want our children to go. I concern, however, if they have a son or daughter can't stop themselves from this kind of desire, there may become another Orlando. <laughs> My condolences to all those being killed by hatred and intolerance.